Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to another hot and a sunny day in Dubai. Now, if you are a new viewer, then make sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel and also to check out my other videos. If you are a returning viewer, then welcome to my channel. Today's vlog is another informational vlog. It deals with how to use an automatic gearbox. Now, as easy as it may seem that an automatic gearbox is easier to use, but in real sense, it does require some care. Now, what is that? That is what we are going to be discussing in this video. You join me in my Nissan Altima 2.5 automatic. Now, this is the automatic gearbox and this is the parking mode, the reverse, the neutral, the drive and the sport mode. Now because i'll be using the the emergency brake let me show you where my emergency brake is in this case it's it's there that is the emergency brake now to start things off the first tip is always engage your emergency parking brake now why is that because whenever you are in the parking mode a lot of people think that it is unnecessary when the car is in the park mode but in reality your parking brake may fail or may not work properly if it fails then the emergency brake which is there which i showed you all before that will prevent the car from rolling if it is it is parked on an inclined plane also remember that different cars have different parking brakes position so some cars may have the parking brakes out here in my car in case of nissan it's it's right under the steering wheel the second tip is always come to a complete stop when switching from drive mode to the reverse or the reverse to the drive mode or also when you're putting your car into the parking mode now let me show you an example if I was in my drive mode right now, so I am moving forward. Okay, now I come to a stop and then now I put it back into the reverse. Now I have completely stopped in this case and then I'm engaging into my reverse mode. Now, if I want to again go back into the drive mode, what I do is here I have reversed my car, I brake now again, I'm braking and then i go back to the dry mode and then i continue onward now this may help in a way that if you're going forward then if you suddenly try to put it in reverse your gears may be put under a lot of strain and it may damage your gearbox and the same way if you were in a reverse and if you start to put your car into the dry mode then again the car and the gearbox may be put under strain and it may lead to some damage the third tip is to always engage your emergency brakes before putting the shift lever into the parking mode when you want to park bring the car to a complete stop basically so what happens is if i am in the drive mode and say i have uh, I, I've, I've reached a signal then what you do is uh, come to a stop then put your uh, parking brakes the emergency brakes i'm sorry the emergency brakes and then put your car into the parking mode this basically helps because it will not again strain the parking pin or the 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 pole that you say now the gearbox when you put your car into the parking mode what it does there's a lever that basically is stopping the gears from going ahead it basically locks the gears the parking mode is basically that so the pin if if your car were to uh, be parked on a slope or uh, what will happen is the pin will get strained now in many cases the pin may actually snap or just shear off because of the stress now in order to avoid that what we do is we put it in the parking mode and then also engage the emergency brakes so that will act as a secondary backup in case this thing fails now putting the car in the emergency brake will also help the parking mode because it won't stress the pins and also if if it were to fail there is always a backup 
in the form of emergency brakes the last tip is if your uh, car has a manual mode now my car doesn't have a manual mode but some cars they do a majority of the cars and the automatic gearbox they have something called as a manual mode which is here when you slide the the the, the gear stick to your left side and there'll be a plus and a minus so don't be afraid to use that because a lot of people think that it is not right to use it but then in real case it gives you the control of a manual car it may be in the form of paddle shift or it may be in the form of a stick shift where the plus goes for going up on the gears and the minus is going down on the gears so always make sure to use the manual mode as well I hope these tips and tricks help you in making sure you use your automatic gearbox in the right way. Give it a thumbs up if you've liked this video and make sure to share and subscribe for some amazing videos to come. Also, if you would like me to make some videos on topics that you have in mind or you have doubts on, make sure to write it down in the comment section below and I'll make sure to make a video on it. Until next time, bye-bye.